to preempt every story by saying, I love you, Julie. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's start off. Uh, there's, there was a time that she needed to get nine bags through customs, <laughs> and only two were allowed, and she refused to pay the excess shipping charges. <laughs> So she began to enlighten the customs officer about the fragility of a costume budget. <laughs> and the lecture worked. Customs gave in, the bags went through, and the officer joined Julie for dinner. <laughs> Dismissed from the set because she was taking too much time redressing the extras. Um, only to come back within uh, an hour, a, a bag lady appeared pushing a grocery cart, <laughs> fussing and adjusting. <laughs> of course, we know that that was truly the hands of an artist at work. We love you, Julie. <laughs> So, the, a journalist, Susan Stamberg, described Julie's studio in Santa Monica like a nest of an exotic bird. <laughs> it's a clutter of lace, ribbons, fabric, and on the walls are her engaging multimedia sketches, complex palettes of colors, shapes and samples. And, and, a, and, a, and a love seat. Oh, a love seat. There's a love seat. This is the most amazing thing. So, she has this love seat. This may be one of my favorite things about you, Julie. She's a love seat in her studio with it's, love letters pinned on the back. But they're from her grandfather to her grandmother, yes? It's one of my favorite things about the studio. Making it a true love seat. It's truly a love so, seat. So, I really oh, love Oh, love God. <laughs> um, but, but, I mean, her studio just grabs your imagination because it, everything about it has an inventive promise. When trying to nail um, just the right look for a character, Julie's known to be absolutely fearless, and that means crew members soon learn that anything they wear to work is fair game. <laughs> I really need that shirt. Can I, can I, can I, can I borrow your trousers? Because a paint plaster on those trousers are perfect for the character I'm developing. And, and people give in. No, absolutely, because with talent, friendly persuasion, and dogged persistence, she gets everything she wants. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, let's listen to these credits. The Elephant Man, both on Broadway and television. An Emmy for The Doll Maker, costume consultant on a dozen episodes of Murder, She Wrote. Costumes for Betty Davis in The Wales of August, Liza at Radio City, Little Gloria, Happy at Last, and a second Emmy for the miniseries A Woman of Independent Means. Add that to over 40 feature films. The count includes Tequila Sunrise, Steel Magnolias, Searching for Bobby Fischer, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, American Beauty, Hollywood Land, Blades of Glory, Secretariat, Get Low, and Oscar nominations for both 12 Monkeys and Frida. I can also speak personally. I'm working with her on Bobby and No Strings Attached. Julie, you make me a better actor. You make me a better person, and you make me a hell of a lot better at Jeopardy. <laughs> I want to second that. Theater, television, film. Truly all richer because of Julie's passion for the archaeology of design. You've got to find the music in the wardrobe, she says. When someone is putting on a shirt or a dress or a hat, it has to be more than just my decision. It's the character's choice. I need the dust, the history of the piece, what's in the pocket, smell your clothes. What does that say about your character you're playing? Those who work with her consider themselves part of a special club. Survivors. <laughs> Elasticize the brain, and indeed you do, because you take all of us 
and take us to a place where we think outside of the box, where we have an ability to go to a place where we cannot imagine. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Back it up. Oh, you want to back it up? Back it up. Back, 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 okay. Back yes. Oh, okay. okay. No, no, back it up. No, no. Okay. Um, and when the waters are raging outside the costume trailer, with an overwhelming dilemma, she writes the ship with a comforting, we're smart people here, let's get calm. And sure enough, things do get done. But they get done brilliantly. And here's the proof.